Look, it's already a pretty busy week this week with all the Echoes of Wisdom previews that dropped today. Oh my gosh, we got to talk about that later. Uh, we have obviously news for Mario Luigi Brothership and news for Mario Party Jamboree. Let's just say you're going to want to check out the podcast tonight because chances are there's going to be news on that podcast we haven't even talked about on the channel. But of course, everything is superseded at the moment by Nintendo's next platform, the Nintendo Switch 2, because we do have have some news about the Switch 2 and it being revealed this month. An exciting update that no, doesn't come from PH Brazil, but comes from literally game journalist, well known name journalist, talking about Switch 2, something happening this month. Oh my gosh, this is really exciting. And also, even a manufacturing update that nobody noticed. Uh, kind of crazy, nobody noticed because guess what? It deals with the Nintendo switches <clears throat> just want to note switches assembler that's right you have people who make the primary components in mass production and then you have the company nintendo uses to assemble their systems something crazy is going on there i can't wait to dive into it if you're enjoying this news and you want to stay up to date on all things nintendo switch 2 why don't you go ahead and subscribe to the channel we're on our road to 150,000. also smash that like button let's see if we can you know break a thousand likes in the next 24 hours we haven't been able to do that in a while let's see if this is the video that pulls it off all right so what are we talking about well first we gotta go over to christopher dring so Christopher Dring uh, put out here says, with industry whispers around something, okay, quotes, something Switch 2 related happening this month, what else could it be but a reveal, right? I thought I'd remind everyone of the official list of the greatest game consoles of all time, Nintendo Switch, everyone else. Now we can get into debates over what's the greatest console of all time. I tend to agree with him, but you know, there's going to be biases. Some people are going to want PlayStation 2, PlayStation 4. Uh, those are usually in the contention. So is usually the Wii, the Super Nintendo, yada, yada. So, you know, everyone's going to have their own debates. But who is Christopher Dring? He is the head of game industry Dot biz. Now, it is important to note that uh, we have talked about Christopher Dring in the past and mentioned that he hasn't always been like 100% accurate with his Nintendo stuff over the years. But, you know, he's not the only one talking about this because somebody else who actually is more accurate came out in Andy Robinson from Video Game Chronicle. He came out and he quoted Stealth. Now, Stealth 40K, friend of the channel, uh, he was just quoting Christopher Dring, uh, you know, and what he said. Uh, Andy Robinson says, seems a bunch of press have heard this. So even Andy's like, hey, I'm aware that like a bunch of press have heard this, uh, but he wouldn't bet his house on it. So what he's saying is, man, you know, this actually sounds really exciting, but hey, let's not like bet the farm on a September reveal, right? Let's not go too far, but hey, a bunch of press have heard it. So it's like reconfirmation that Christopher Dring isn't talking, you know, out of one side of his mouth and saying something else behind the scenes. No, it turns out a bunch of press have heard something Switch 2 is happening. And again, this is really, really important to pay attention to because we know or at least we think we know that Switch 2 is being revealed here in 2024 just because Nintendo seems to have cleared the Switch slate. Now, the plot gets thicker because what's better than some rumors coming from industry insiders and game journalists? Obviously, facts, right? Facts are what matter. Well, how about this little fact pointed out by an industry analyst in David Gibson? So he talks about how he thinks it might be September 18th through the 26th or October, early October. That's what he's just putting out there. I've been on record saying I think the Switch 2 is revealed the 17th, 18th, or 19th with the 18th being my ideal pick of a day. But, you know, it could be whatever. Uh, David Gibson, though, responded to this and says, hey, uh, there's something going on here. No one seems to have noticed the Nintendo assembler, Hoseidon. And yes, Hoseidon is the one who assembles Nintendo's systems together. They're their primary assembler is spending 2 billion yen on production equipment and 1 billion yen on automation in fiscal year three for their 2024, 2025 fiscal year for its major customer in amusement, Nintendo. Now that is there. If you actually go through Hoseidon's portfolio, Nintendo is 
their major customer in amusement. So when they mention major customer in amusement, that's what they're spending all this money for. They're talking about Nintendo. We That's just a fact-based thing. We know this over time. We know how Hoseidon has referred to Nintendo in the past. Uh, now, he still expects September News in a March 2025 release for the next device. And what you're seeing here is you got the new Vietnam factory. Remember, Nintendo has been taking a lot of their assembly and production outside of China for uh, some interesting reasons. Anyway, so there's a new factory you know, and to be fair, the factory, whether it's being built or is already built, I don't know. Then you have your new production equipment. Then you have your automation. This is a massive increase. Now, if you go back, obviously, to fiscal year three and prior years, we haven't seen really an increase like that since 2020. If you look at the 2020 bar, it makes a lot of sense that there was an increase for them there, uh, you know, because Nintendo was selling out on switches. They were trying to make as many switches as possible. And you get the fiscal year, you know, part, part three in 2019, 2020. 20, you're looking in the holiday season when they're trying to ramp up production. Well, here they're ramping up production this holiday season, or at least in this case, ramping up assembly. And why are they ramping up assembly for their primary partner? Well, could it be that Switch 2 is planning to come out early next year? Look, why else would you be ramping up assembly? That's what I want to know. We talked before about parts manufacturing last month going into mass production. And what did I tell you guys? I have been following this for a while with a lot of companies. When parts go into mass manufacturing, it's usually roughly a month to six weeks later that mass assembly begins. You don't just mass produce components for a new system, a new platform, a new phone, a new electronic device, and just leave all them sitting in a warehouse forever. No, you mass produce them for about a month to six weeks to allow there to be a stockpile that is shipped off to the assembler who puts everything together. So if the mass manufacturing report that we had last month is correct in that like if parts manufacturing for components has started to begun back in August, that was the report back in August that the parts manufacturing had gone in the mass manufacturing, then yeah, mass assembly should be beginning sometime later this month. And if mass assembly is beginning sometime later this month, why the heck is Nintendo making millions and millions of Switch 2s this year? because they gotta be planning to bring it out early next year. So that is why David Gibson, as you see here, uh, going back, is saying that he thinks September 18th, October 26th, and he's even going with, you know, I, he, he thinks it's releasing in March, right? He, he still thinks a March release is happening because why are they making millions, millions of Switch 2s, you know, heading into next year? Why are they doing that? Well, it has to be, of course, because the thing's got to be coming out. They're not going to just waste warehousing money, housing, you know, 10 million of these things to get to holiday of next year. So it's the largest evidence we've had yet that while maybe a March release isn't for sure, first half of next year pretty much seems guaranteed just based off the assembler on how much money they're, they're chucking into assembly for their primary amusement partner in Nintendo. And again, Hoseidon's the company that's the mass assembler for the Nintendo Switch. So... You throw all this stuff together, you have obviously the industry insiders and analysts and all that, Christopher Dring, Andy Robinson, PH Brazil even saying it could be revealed this month, it just might not be. You have Andy Robinson being like, yeah, actually a bunch of us have been hearing about uh, Switch 2, you know, something's supposed to happen, some sort of news is supposed to happen this month, but he doesn't want to bet his house on it because, again, Nintendo moves things around so much. Uh, I think Andy Robinson has just learned that, hey, just because you hear stuff, it doesn't necessarily mean it's happening right now. Uh, PH Brazil kind of went out there and said he had informed speculation on the reveal timing and the release timing, which means he knows something. He just doesn't know an exact time. He even said it himself. I don't know an exact date for when things are happening. But, you know, he's obviously heard something. That something could have just been 2024 reveal. All I know is things are lining up. The chatter is beginning. September reveal, September reveal, which for me is a big deal. For me is a big deal. I... Have a hot chip bet on this. I bet a hot chip in August that Nintendo Switch 2 would be revealed in September. I could be wrong, and I might have to do the hot chip challenge live on stream and torture myself for the masses. And you know what? Some of you guys are really going to enjoy that. Some of you guys will just enjoy it for the entertainment factor. Some of you guys will just enjoy it because you want me to feel pain. And you know what? I get it. I have my detractors. I have my haters. We have our Switch 2 doubters. We have people who just think I'm a piece of shit. And you know what? 
Maybe I am a piece of shit, but I'm a piece of shit that loves Nintendo. And I'm going to keep talking about what I feel like talking about because the Switch 2 is really exciting to me. Now, later today, we should have at least one video coming out related to games. And then beyond that, uh, our podcast tonight, we have a packed show. And I can just tell you the topics right now. I already know them. We're going to be talking about Echoes of Wisdom. We're gonna be, That's going to be one topic. We're going to be talking about Mario Party Jamboree for a topic. We're going to be talking about Mario and Luigi Brothership for a topic. And now we're going to be talking about this and i'm pretty excited because we have some guests on our show that have never been on before and i'm very curious what they feel about everything surrounding the nintendo switch 2 thank you guys so much for being here i am nathaniel robojets from nintendo prime and i'll catch you in the next video